Good evening, Imagine Rosefield parents. My name is Joshua Jordan, and I'm principal here at Imagine Rosefield. And with me tonight is Tammy Wilkham, our assistant principal. We're excited you've joined us tonight for this virtual town hall meeting, and we hope we will answer many of your questions about returning to school uh, this year. This format is new for us, and uh, just as it is for you. And so we're a little bit nervous, and yet we're excited for the upcoming year. We realize there are a lot of questions and emotions that are associated with a return to school this year, and we want you to know that our staff is processing those questions and emotions just as you are. Like yours, our families have been impacted by COVID-19 in ways that we could never have anticipated. We're grateful for our incredible Imagine Rosefield families, and we're grateful for the supportive learning community that has developed here at our school over the years. Together, we'll overcome these challenges, and this school year will be a great one. We will be communicating frequently over the next several weeks and throughout the school year with updates. And so if you have not been receiving our emails, we ask that you please contact our front office via phone or email to ensure that we have an updated email address for you. Also, we want to be sure that you follow us or like us on social media. We have a uh, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter account that will be updated regularly. Finally, we want to encourage you to visit our website often for updated information. We want to provide you with as much detailed information as we can, and this evening uh, we'll provide as much as possible. But we ask for your understanding, as we know that many of the details that we may share tonight will certainly be subject to change based on changes in guidance that we are receiving from the CDC, the Arizona Department of Education, and local health agencies. Now with that, we're eager to dive in, so I'm going to turn some time over to Mrs. Wilkham, our assistant principal, to share some important information about the start of this coming school year. First, let me say how excited our teachers and staff are to start this school year. Students are the center and focus of everything that we do as educators, and we can't wait to meet you and start learning. We will begin school online August 5th. As of now, online instruction will continue through September 4th. To prepare for online instruction, you will receive your child's classroom placement and a schedule for families to pick up instructional materials the week of July 27th. From there, your child's teacher will notify you with the details for an online Meet the Teacher experience, which will include both recorded and live components. These Meet the Teacher experiences are scheduled over multiple days beginning July 31st. Beginning on August 5th, the first day of school, we will be back to serving meals under the National School Lunch Program, or NSLP. We will continue with the grab-and-go meal process as we have done through the summer at our Imagine Prep campus. However, there are a few changes we want to share with you. The drive through pickup area will now be at our Imagine Rosefield campus. Serving will be done from the south side curb the serving times will be from 9 to 11 a.m. Those times may be extended at some point to make it more convenient for parents. We will keep you informed on that. When you arrive, you will be greeted by a staff member who will confirm your children are enrolled at Imagine Rosefield. At that time, the grab-and-go meals will be brought out to your car. Meals will not be free, unfortunately, because we are no longer in the summer meals program but rather returning to school. Parents will need to ensure there is money on their child's account. The meals will be charged according to the student's current qualification. For example, if the family qualifies for a reduced priced meal, they will be charged the reduced rate and families qualifying for free meals will not need to pay. For your information, there is a bill in Congress right now which if passed, could make meals free for all families for a period of time. We will keep you posted about that. But again, at this time, meals are not free. This grab-and-go meal service pickup will continue until it is deemed safe for all of us to be back inside our building. We're excited to tell you now about our online and in-person instructional models. We know online instruction will not be the preference for some, just as in-person instruction will not meet the needs of others during this pandemic. For that reason, we are offering both models this school year as soon as we're able. Just as we are trying to do, we hope that you will be respectful of others' preferences and the complexity of this difficult situation. Again, the first day of school we want to remind you is August 5th, 
and all instruction for all students will be online from August 5th until September 4th or until in-person instruction is allowed. You will have the option to choose either online or in-person instruction for your children. As of now, your choice of instruction would begin September 8th. After a period of online instruction for all students, we will ask parents to make a selection of online or in-person instruction around the middle of August or so, and that decision will be effective then until December 18th. Parents may have the opportunity to change their decision. We will entertain requests to change models during designated windows of time, and as long as there is room in either a traditional or in-person class, we will try to accommodate uh, any of those requests. Whether online or in person, we want to assure you that special education services and intervention will continue as usual. On Friday, July 10th, we posted a flyer outlining some of the details about our online learning program. Many of the details provided tonight come from that flyer. First, we want you to know our online model has been developed with input from Imagine teachers, academic coaches, and instructional leaders throughout the, our region of schools. With that support, we've adapted our regularly adopted curricular resources for use online. That means that you should be familiar with our core curricular resources. We've developed a schedule for the distribution of some instructional materials that students will need at home. That distribution of materials will begin the week of July 27th, and we're excited that students will be learning with familiar resources even while they're learning online. While we had a different grading system in quarter four of last year, we will return to a traditional grading system, and grades will be based on student performance and growth. Grades will not be based solely on participation. Teachers will be modeling content and interacting with students both via live meetings in both whole group and small group settings. And uh, teachers will also model content through regular live meetings with students, but also will provide modeling and instruction at times via recorded sessions. We've heard from families and we recognize the need for increased opportunities for students to interact with teachers and other students. So our online model provides for daily teacher and student interaction in various formats, such as small group, uh, whole class and some pre-recorded instruction that may be uh, replayed then later on for reinforcement. Utilizing our adopted curriculum in all grade levels provides consistent, equitable, and rigorous instruction for all students. As you know, Imagine Rosefield is committed to developing both the hearts and the minds of our students through proven character develop initiatives. Consequently, daily character development and social-emotional learning will continue to be an integrated and intentional focus of our online instructional model. This is something we believe will set our online learning apart. Finally, we're excited to announce we will be using Schoology as our learning management system, or LMS. Schoology is a comprehensive tool that will house all instructional materials, making them easy for students and parents to access on any device. Our teachers' use of Schoology will allow them to easily share students' progress and grades with families. The Schoology system will also facilitate daily attendance taking based on students' engagement with their teacher. Again, as a reminder, all students will participate in online instruction beginning August 5th through at least September 4th. Once we're able to begin in-person instruction, we will be offering a traditional, not a hybrid model. Therefore, students will attend school all day, Monday through Friday. Students' daily schedule will include the core content areas of math, English language arts, social studies, and science, as well as specials, lunch, and recess. Now naturally, there will be some variation in the way that schedule works as compared to years past. Some possible examples include a rotation of lunch and recess schedules, where classes alternate days in the cafeteria and on the playground in order to limit the number of students in those areas at a given time, and also to allow for cleaning uh, between use. That means students may be eating lunch in their classrooms or having recess at a different time than usual. It may also mean that classes could have indoor recess at times. During in-person instruction, we will continue our focus on social-emotional needs uh, of students along with integrated opportunities for character development. Likewise, we will continue with a high uh, set of academic expectations providing differentiation with an emphasis on small group instruction, which we hope will ensure that we meet individual academic needs. Teachers will plan virtual field trips in lieu of traditional field trips, and uh, we will unfortunately have to suspend large school events for the time being. 
Also, unfortunately, we will need to suspend uh, the participation of parent volunteers. Parents will not be able to visit the campus like they have in the past to support teachers in classrooms, uh, visit their child for lunch, make copies, um, or perhaps to help with Friday folders. We love our parent volunteers and we're hopeful that we'll be able to welcome our parent volunteers back as soon as possible. There will also be some other additional safety measures in place and Mrs. Wilkin is going to explain some of those to us now. So Imagine Rosefield has delayed our return to traditional on-campus instruction until September 8th. We continue to plan for a safe return to school with increased safety protocols and practices. Those choosing to return to campus to engage in in-person instruction will be asked to participate in these preventative measures. Some of these practices include, but are not limited, to teachers working with all students to encourage frequent hand washing, facilitating the use of government mandated face masks, and working to help students social distance as much as possible. Additionally, students and staff will be expected to complete daily health screenings before entering the school. Those who exhibit COVID-19 symptoms, including a temperature of 100.4 or greater, will be asked to stay home. Finally, though we usually abide by the model, sharing is caring, we are asking that students use their own school supplies in order to limit the spread of germs. In addition to increased personal safety protocols, Imagine Rosefield is working to increase the safety of students and staff by implementing enhanced common space protocols. Imagine Rosefield has added hand sanitizing stations, touchless trash bins, and signage to encourage social distancing, proper mask use, and hand washing. Following CDC guidelines, Imagine Rosefield will work to increase social distancing in common spaces such as classrooms, the cafeteria, and playground when possible. Doing so will require students to alternate between eating in the cafeteria and their classrooms for lunch, as well as a rotation for outside and inside recess. Until further notice, the campus is limited to students and staff and restricted to visitors. Finally, Imagine Rosefield will work to provide engaging virtual assemblies and field trips in order to unite our student body and recognize their achievements. In the event of a confirmed COVID-19 diagnosis, deep cleaning protocols will be implemented and those who have been exposed will be notified. The school leadership will evaluate the situation based on the current CDC recommendations to determine and communicate next steps. We received a number of questions from parents and we want to address some of those questions now. Uh, first question, what's happening with supply lists uh, or supply fees rather this year? Supply fees will be discounted by 15% uh, consistent with communication that was sent home at the end of last year. And then at this time, the fee will remain in place. And then once we can reasonably be sure of how many instructional days our students will be in person, we intend to prorate those fees at that time and provide refunds where appropriate. Another question that we've received from parents is, will my child's class placement change? The answer to that question is because we are providing a choice to families, online learning versus in-person learning, there is a possibility of a class placement change because both of our online and in-person teachers will be Imagine Rosefield teachers. It is possible that class placements may change for some students dependent upon teacher assignments which will be based upon parent selections of online or in-person instruction. The question was asked, how are you helping special education students who cannot adapt um, with just virtual learning? Well, our special education teachers will be working with classroom teachers to help adapt and modify remote instruction. In addition to that, classroom teachers and special education teachers will be meeting with small groups of students um, to better respond to their needs and to provide them specific feedback. Next, we've, we've had some uh, parents just uh, express some concern over the difficulty in choosing a model without really having a full understanding of the models themselves. One of the things that we wanted to reassure parents of is that there will be consistent student schedule in the online model and expectations that you can count on. We have based time components of live instruction on developmental readiness. For example, uh, kinder instructional times will be the shortest and will increase as, student, as students go up in grades. 
Um, there will be a balance of taped lessons uh, from the teachers and live small group sessions, along with independent student practice times. We received a question along with a suggestion. The question was, can a suggested supply list for online learning be provided based on probable activities? And then the suggestion was, for example, printer ink, copy paper, if we're expected to uh, be printing worksheets, packets, lesson plans, etc. Uh, we want to thank you for this question and uh, also for the suggestion of a supply, a supply list for online learning. We're hopeful to minimize uh, any costs associated with and uh, any inconvenience associated with too much printing. Our online platform of Schoology should minimize, minimize that and uh, also this year we will be sending home textbooks and depending on the grade level some workbooks and worksheets as well. Uh, next we received some, some questions about how attendance will work for online learning as well as uh, whether there will be opportunities for students socializing through group activities um, via Zoom and other, other avenues. Um, there will be a daily attendance expectations, um, but, there, but we are always willing to work with our working parents and provide justice to all of our students. We believe that building relationships is very important for students, especially during this pandemic. We are embedding opportunities for students in small groups, as well as whole class opportunities for social and emotional learning and social interactions. So the, uh, the last question that we'll address uh, at this time uh, was about masks. Will masks be worn in the classroom um, and will a child be dismissed if not adhering to wearing a mask? So yes, masks will be worn as mandated by local and state government agencies. We understand that it may be a challenge for some students to wear a mask and uh, the, in those instances we want to uh, plan to work with families in order to uh, find and work towards a viable solution. We want to conclude our virtual town hall with a few reminders tonight. First, school begins on August 5th. All students will begin school online until September 4th or until Governor's orders, orders uh, will allow in-person instruction. To prepare for online instruction, you will receive your child's classroom placement, uh, who their teacher is, and a schedule for families to pick up instructional materials that will happen the week of July 27th. From there, your child's teacher will notify you with details uh, for an online Meet the Teacher experience, which is going to include both a recorded and a live component. These Meet the Teacher experiences are scheduled over multiple days, but will begin on July 31st. Finally, to ensure you are aware of the latest and greatest, please be sure to update your contact information with our front office staff. And don't forget to like us or follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Again, we appreciate your participation in our virtual town hall tonight. Have a wonderful evening. We look forward to the start of another great year here at Imagine Rosefield.